Hi guys, thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. I'm coming to you from my new location and look at how much more bright this is. I just kind of revamped my studio so that I get more um, sunlight from the window instead of having to use lamps so there won't be so much um, glare on the page and it's more natural light and I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. Plus, right outside my window is a bird bath and I just got to witness a beautiful orange-headed finch taking a morning bath and then uh, now it's sitting in the feeder and uh, eating its breakfast and it was so cool to watch it take its bath this morning. So anyway, um, today's video is on my um, trying to work on finishing up my paper dolls book. It's been a project that's been in the making for over a year. It's taken me a while and I've gotten off track and kind of forgot about it so I'm revamping it or pulling it out and I'm going to finish it up so that I can uh, do its cover, finish the pages and do a flip through and uh, make it available to anyone who's interested. So I'm going to work on that today and I'm going to use um, this 60's paper doll book to um, do something fun on one of the pages but I just want to show you real quick I have another video that I did and I will put a link below to that video and it is um, one of those ephemera windows and it just finished drying and I just wanted to show you how cool this one turned out. It's got stamped butterflies, it's got some um, dyed cheesecloth, some dried flowers, postage, old postage stamps, some ephemera, some leaves, lace, it just turned out so cool and then of course when you flip it over this is what's on the other side I love both sides it's got some um, glittered sequin hearts in blue and that cool postage stamp it's just way too cool so I am of course going to um, make a frame of wallpaper and sew this into that frame because they make awesome um, bookmark pages so you know you're working in a, an art journal or you're reading if you like to read and you put this whole thing into the page you can see through it and see all the interesting stuff and use it as your bookmark so I'm gonna finish that up Ooh, look at the lace I love the lace it's so pretty so I just want to show that and now I'm gonna move on to this project so what I want to do is in the center of the book here, that's the only part I haven't finished, I need to find some pages, I need to remove some pages, and then I need to find some pages and, and uh, Mod Podge them together to make my sets of pages and figure out how many more pages I want to put in this book. It's already pretty full because of all the very interactive things like the waterfall flip and um, <laughs> cookie, my my articulated girl cookie I love her and my paper dolls that have handkerchief skirts so it's pretty thick book to begin with so probably don't want a whole lot left so I'm gonna remove some pages I'm gonna figure out probably maybe one or two more spreads at the most so I'm gonna remove some pages and my podge some together and so I'll set that aside you don't need to watch me do that you've seen that before and then what I'm gonna do is I have this 60s paper doll cutout book so it's got the girls in it and then it's got all the outfits from the 60s to put on the girls so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna fussy cut out my girls without their stands and then I'm gonna find the clothing that I like for each one of them I'm not gonna do all of them just a couple of each for each girl I'm gonna pick the ones that I like the best and I'm going to fussy cut those out and then I will come back and show you the next step. And here is my supervisor. This is Gracie. Hi Gracie. Are you going to say hi to everybody? She likes to lay in her little papa's on chair and supervise the artwork. Not much supervising going on today. It's more like napping. But that's what she likes to do on a Sunday is nap and watch your mama create. Okay, I've got my two girls cut out and now I'm going through the book and I'm picking out 
a couple of outfits for each and um, putting those aside so I can trim those out as well and um, on the ones that I'm not using, just a, a food for thought. If you have one of these um, paper dolls books, they come in every, this is the 60s, they come in 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I got this, I think this was um, gifted to me from someone. So if you come across one of these and you want to use one in your, um, your altered book, if you're making a paper dolls altered book like mine um, save the ones that you don't use I'm I'm gonna put those in my folder for um, clothes and fashion because these are awesome to use for if you like to do collage and make collage quirky characters in your art journal these outfits are great for that because you can add anybody you know any type of head on it or you can use these arms and or just the outfit there's lots of things you can use so these are great keep them in your folder for your collage okay so I've removed pages and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some gaffer tape and I did um, cut it this way and tear it so it's not quite as thick I'll put a link below for uh, gaffer tape it is used for construction and it works great for just adding stability to the gutters of your book or repairing a book that's damaged or coming apart and I'm folding it in half and just sticking it right down there in the gutter pushing it in as far as it'll go and then just spreading it out and that is just going to make a super super nice stable section where I took out a really big chunk of pages in the middle of my book so now I'm going to cut the edges off the length of the book pages and then I'm going to go ahead and put some um, white gesso over the gaffer tape and let it dry and then I'm going to start laying down a base of uh, papers and things for my background and I'll show you that as I do it okay so there's my gaffer tape in my gutter I love it perfect it's exactly what I wanted and now I'm going to gesso it and uh, then we'll start working on decorating these pages okay so I've glued some pages together for stability on this side and I was going to cover this with some book text and things and then do a crazy background and I had an idea I love using wallpaper and I have wallpaper samples and so what I'm going to do is use a piece of wallpaper as my backing. It's going to make it nice and strong plus um, I've had the idea of taking some images of furniture. I have um, in one of my file folders I talk a lot about doing collage and when I find at a um, thrift store or resale store or a garage sale or whatever books on antiques or anything like that I sit down and I um, take all the images out and I separate them out and I put them into folders and I have a folder full of furniture so I look through the furniture looking for something that looked like a an armoire so something you would hold clothing in and I am found this one and it fits just right this one is a little bit too big so I'm not going to use that one and then I kind of thought it'd be fun on this side to do something behind the girls like this really cool couch I love this couch image so I'm gonna just flip through here here's a bookcase I could put that on and then put the couch in front of it to kind of do a collage background over the wallpaper so I'm basically gonna make this page spread look like um, look like it's in a house you know like it's got the wallpaper on the wall and then it's got furniture and over here is gonna be um, an on wall where, where I'm going to um, essentially make a pocket and store the clothing that's going to go onto my um, onto my paper dolls so first thing I'm going to have to do is once these totally dry they're still a little bit damp and I want to make sure that they're really really dry so that I have a good solid foundation and I don't want to use a heat tool because that will tend to warp things I like to let them air dry 
Then I'm going to take my wallpaper and I'm going to fold it where it can go right in the gutter and line it up and glue it down really, really well. Um, probably not going to use Mod Podge. I think I'm going to use my art glitter glue for that because it's nice and sticky and I can um, make a nice uh, layer of, of glue and smooth it out and that wallpaper will stick down really well. So I'm going to wallpaper this. And then when I'm done, I'll come back and show you the collage. Uh, while it's drying, I'm going to cut out my furniture images. Okay, so I've cut my wallpaper to fit as closely as possible. And it's really long on this end, but that's okay because I'm going to work my way that way. So what I want to do, it's going to line up on this side and it's a little longer on the top. I'm going to put my art glitter glue down on this page. Okay, so I'm using art glitter glue and I'm going to put art glitter glue really nice and close to that edge because it sticks really well and it should hold that wallpaper in place super nice. And then I'm going to go down here and put some in the gutter. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go back and forth. And then the opposite way. Just kind of making a checkerboard pattern here with the glue. Okay, and this is what I'm using, art glitter glue. Okay, now I'm going to start my wallpaper right where I want it on the edge. Get it as straight as possible on that edge and on the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to just start working it down burnishing it and working it down into that gutter and you want to push it really good in if you're using wallpaper and you're following along with me you just want to make sure that you've really burnished it and really pushed it down the glue that you made in the checkerboard pattern will spread out as you push and it'll give it a really nice even even layer inside underneath there. So see it sticks really well. It looks great. And I've got it pushed down really good into that gutter and starting up the edge. And it's really nice along the edge. So, okay, now I'm going to do the same thing over here, add my glue and continue on burnishing it to the end. And then I'm going to have this long piece that I can, once it dries, I'm going to cut at the top and cut along this edge to even it up onto the pages. That way you get a really good fit. Okay, so here are my pages wallpapered and ready to go. And I've cut out my furniture pieces that I'm going to add. This is like a hope chest and an armoire and then I've got my bookcase and my cool looking couch so I'm going to go ahead and put those down on the page I'm just going to use my art glitter glue again and stick those down and make my furniture background okay here are my two pages with my furniture backgrounds I like it a lot it's kind of cute with the wallpaper and then furniture so that makes a fun and different background. And then my girls are going to go on this page. So I'm going to glue them down. But first I'm going to take a pen and darken the edges. I always like to take a water brush that's filled with ink. And um, when I cut things out, I don't like that white edge showing. So I just take my little ink brush and go around all the edges to darken them up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that around all the edges and then I'm going to glue them into place. Okay my girls are glued in place. I love the furniture background. It's so cute. Now what I'm going to do is take a sheet protector and on this side it's already sealed on this side and this side the, the left side or right side and the bottom. So I'm going to just set it down where I want it to go and then mark with my finger where I need to trim it. I'm going to need to trim it right here. 
along this edge and then I'm going to just go up a little ways across the page and cut that across. Okay, so I've trimmed my sheet protector so it's going to fit right here on this page like this and you can there's some glare coming in through the window here let me tip it this way but that's what it's going to look like so that way it shows the background really nice and i'm going to be able to slip the clothing that are going to go on these girls the clothing that i fussy cut out are going to go in this pocket so now what i'm going to do i'm going to use some score tape to adhere it down to the page so this is a double-sided adhesive. It's a score tape. It can be used for card making and scrapbooking and just about any paper craft. And it is double-sided. It's like double stick tape, but it's nice and thin. It's only an eighth of an inch wide. So what I'm going to do is take my score tape and put it down along the edge of the envelope where I want to stick it down and then just trim it and I'm going to do that all the way around the three edges. Let's put score tape and you basically just lay it into place and then trim it and it has backing on it and then you just peel that backing off and stick your item down on the page. So. I'm going to get a nice layer of adhesive that's going to be and then I'm also going to open up this edge of the envelope the one that is from the side that I cut and I'm going to put score tape inside that as well because I obviously want to stick that edge of the pocket together okay so I've got all my score tape and now I want to peel the one that's inside the pocket. You've got to get that edge up and then stick that down. So now that I made a completed pocket and now I'm going to peel up that score tape around the edges of the clear envelope that I just created. And it takes a little, can be a little bit tricky to get it started, but once you do, it's easy. Oops, it stuck to my thumb. Didn't want that to happen. Oh, silly girl. Now I made it all silly in the corner. Oh well. So I've got to be careful to not hold it along the tape. It's very sticky. That's why I'm using it. It works great for something like this where you have something that you really want to have stick well. So I'm going to put this in place. And there I go. I've got a perfect, nicely stuck down envelope. There. Perfect. And then it'll be a great pocket to slip my doll outfits into. So here are my girls and now I can stick, put any outfit I want to over each one of them to dress them up. If you want them to stick down better, um, you can get those little stick on dots that are repositionable and you could put them on the backs of these to stick them right on. And But now you can see you can change her up and put on different outfits for each one of these girls and try them on like when we were kids and we played dress up with our paper dolls See how fun that is? It's fun to be a kid again. So we're playing dress up and using our paper dolls in our paper doll book. And we've got a cute little pocket over here to put our little outfits. How fun is that? 
So that's my last page in this book. Now I'm going to work on the cover in the next video and um, then the book will be complete and I'll do a flip through. So I hope you enjoyed this. This was kind of fun and a great way to use some paper dolls in your paper dolls book. And the fun thing about the pocket is because it was a sheet protector, it actually makes two pockets. So I've put the outfits for the girl on the left in the very far back and the outfits for the girls on the right in the inside of the pocket. So it kind of makes a double, a double space for you to put your two sets of outfits, three for each girl, and they don't get all tangled up with each other. So, and it's kind of fun because it still shows the furniture in the background. So, so we're never too old to play with paper dolls. How fun. This turned out so good. I had a good time doing it. I love how it turned out. I think I probably will put down some, um, some repositionable adhesive to stick them on in place, but just showing you what it looks like. There's just so darn cute and turned out great. So it was great fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. So thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Until next time, art soothes the heart.